Hello everybody, welcome back to Dungeons 2. Uh, we're in the same position we were ended last episode. And I think we're about to start our way to break into this area here. Which is digging your way through to the vaults. Uh, we've got an attack on the way, I believe. Let's clear some of this out here. This way, so is that this entrance? I think it might be. Who shall we get? A couple of tanks up front, shall we? He needs to heal. Where is he? Oh. Get him in there. There are enemies in your dungeon. Yes, I know. from the wrong direction then. Alright, let's get rid of all this. It seems to be about this area, so let's try this first. God, I've got another attack. Finally, the corrupted oh, evil go. had found the hero's tomb. Now it was time for a little refined desecration and profanation. Are you really sure no danger lurks here? This place stinks. How should you know? You don't even have a living nose to smell with. That's true. Right, then let's get these graves desecrated. No more questions, no more doubts. Enemies have entered the dungeon. As the corrupting evil's bony paw opened the tomb, a howling and wailing filled the air. Tomb guards rose and attacked the mouldering evil's troops. With a bitchy hiss, Galul's spirit vanished into thin air. We shall not meet again, El Loser. Aha! A quote from a famous fantasy film? In this game? My <laughs> word, Barthus. Whatever shall become of us. Alright, okay. Let's get these in here. The opening of the second tomb called for tomb guards as well, but this time, the moss-backed evil was prepared with troops at the ready to strike back. At least, I certainly hope so. Wow. 
now. Another attack on the way, as well as... Rumley's spirit was finally banned. Seems the atmosphere in the cemetery wasn't all that cheerful after all. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Let me do this one. <clears throat> Unexpectedly, the opening of the third tomb also called for a number of guards to attack the complete evil. End imitation. Ha 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 ha! Hey, that's born. You got the easy job. Stop that, that's my job. You just stick to rattling off your usual weighty dribble. Feed <laughs> me your rage! Much better. Although it sounds like I've heard that somewhere before. With a tragic death rattle, the demigod Kroto's spirit dissipated. It left behind a desecrated grave and a lot of ghostly feathers. Ghostly feathers? Hmm. That gives me an idea. Have we got any ghostly tar? The hero's graves lay desecrated. The corrupting evil could literally feel the collective energy of their souls. Now, it was necessary to pool this energy. If only the brooding evil had some sort of vessel for it, a body to receive the energy, something like, oh, a fallen, undead hero or something. Yes, that would be just the thing. You know what to do. Toss Curly over there onto the ritual platform, and we can move on from there. I don't want to be tossed. I wish I was a dwarf. Nobody tosses a dwarf. Quiet in the cheap seats. I'm still the one who decides who gets tossed where. I mean, <laughs> the script box. Yes, we. I would love to put him there, but since he's dead, I'll have to wait for him to revive. <laughs> Very careless of me, I know. But these are the things that happen. Come on, wake up, Bathus. Bathus Snow, come on. Let's get you to the north. attacks again. It's relentless. Wakey, wakey. Oh, we've got plenty of grace. We've got plenty of money. All we need is Martha's Snow to wake up. Then we can carry on. In the meantime, we want to get attacked again, aren't we? So, I wonder which one, which one they're coming in at. It's the bottom one, I think. Is it this one? I think it is. Let's have a welcoming committee waiting for them. It was really time to take out these tomb guards. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Payday.
those out again. Okay, so we'll be right back when he revives. And there we go. Well, wouldn't you know it, as soon as I said that and stopped the recording, he revived. Sod's law. There we go. Finally, the ritual had begun. Now, all the corrupting evil had to do was just wait. However, you could be sure that Melty Sand wouldn't be sitting by the fire waiting for the ritual to end. So, it would be necessary to protect Barthas from her followers until he was done. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Animated bone rats are trying to desecrate the tomb. Kill them, and if they get back up, kill them again! Melty Sand didn't seem to enjoy robbing the dead as much as the corrupting evil did, and sent her troops off to protect the tomb. Spoils. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Best. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Let's see if we can get some heals going on some of these. There are enemies in your dungeon. Oh, here we go again. Poor torture. I'm you. the first versions really with a couple of upgraded ones that we've found so I'm not quite sure if the undead have healing ones. I haven't got to that point yet. Oh here we go again. Come on boys. There are enemies in your dungeon. See if we get a Oh, 
I'll go through and put it rapid anyway. Yes, yes, yes another, another event. Another attack on the way. Payday! Have that call skill out there ready, I think. It appears they're not going to leave us alone for very long. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go, Bathus. Done! The ritual had been completed, and Bathus had become a great deal more powerful. Hey, hey! Tell them about this new trick! Yeah, yeah, fine. Henceforth, Arthas would be able to create an unholy aura, help the corrupting evil cast spells, and desecrate the holy places. You know, holy places. Like the one in the middle of this map. <laughs> oh, by the way, the ritual had brought the corrupting evil enough evilness to improve his throne room. It should already know what that means. After all, it was playing the expansion to Dungeons 2. What it didn't know was that the energy released by the ritual had reduced the nearby entrance to rubble. The good news, that means no more enemies would be coming in that way anymore. The bad news, the corrupting evil would have to find another route to get its mindless army to the surface now. Ha! The altar is completed. Now we can revive the heroes. Krotos will stomp you into the ground, Barthas, you traitor! Oh, sure. Our good Melty fan just proved to be about five lines of dialogue and two minutes late. The graves of the former heroes were desecrated and nothing would rise, except perhaps for a couple of undead. What? It isn't working? Bathas, you will pay for this. You may have destroyed these heroes, but with the altar of the Fire God, I can always resurrect my troops. Your days are numbered. That was unpleasant indeed for the increasingly deep in the doo doo evil. That altar had to be destroyed. <laughs> right, so we've now got an upgraded dungeon, which should mean that we can now. Yes, we can now research a load of new stuff. Transformation train, we need that straight away to start upgrading our troops. Can we do with these? Yes, we can do more. What's this? We need that tougher. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Uh, we need that. Um, we need that. Um, we've got enemies in the dungeon again. So let's get our people on the way to deal with it. And that is where we will call the episode. There are enemies I think, folks. in your dungeon. We can just defeat these few intruders that we have, and then we will call it there and return when I've done a bit of training and we're more in position to do more attacking. So thanks very much for watching, folks. This is all great. Signing off.